Hi everyone, today I'll be reading to you Tag Along by Jonita Havel and illustrated by Anne Selby O'Brien. As I read, I want you to pay attention to the characters in the story. What did you learn about the characters in the story? Okay. Jamaican Tag Along. Jamaican ran to the kitchen to answer the phone, but her brother got there first. It's for me, Aussie said. Jamaica stayed and listened to him talk. Sure, Aussie said, I'll meet you at the court. Aussie got his basketball from the closet. I'm going to shoot baskets with Buzz. Can I come to Jamaica said, I don't have anything to do. Uh, Jamaica, call up your own friends. Everybody is busy today. I don't want you tagging along. I don't want to tag along, Jamaica said. I just want to play basketball with you and Buzz. You're not old enough. We want to play serious ball. Aussie dribbled his basketball down the sidewalk. Jamaica followed at a distance on her bike. Buzz was already at the school court shooting baskets with Jed and Maurice. She parked her bike by the bushes and crept to the corner of the school building to watch. That's not fair, Jamaica thought. Maurice is shorter than I am. Pom, pa pom, pa pom, pom, pom. The boys started playing. Aussie and Jed against Buzz and Maurice. Jamaica sneaked to the edge of the court. Maurice missed a shot and the ball came bouncing towards her. Jamaica jumped. I've got the ball, she yelled. Jamaica, Aussie was so surprised he tripped over Buzz. They both fell down. Jamaica dribbled to the basket and tossed the ball. It rolled around the rim and flew out. I almost made it, Jamaica shouted. Can I be on your team, Aussie? No. N-O, Jamaica. I told you not to tag along. It's not fair. You let Maurice play. We need two on a team. Why don't you go play on the swings and stay out of the way? I wonder how Jamaica is feeling right now. You know how she's feeling? I still think it's not fair. Jamaica walked slowly over to the sandlot. She started to swing, but a little boy kept walking in front of her. His mom should keep him out of the way, Jamaica thought. She looked up and saw a woman pushing a baby back and forth in a stroller. Jamaica sat down in the sand and began to dig. She made a big pile with wet sand from underneath. She scooped the sand from the mound to form a wall. Fredo, help, said the little boy. He sprinkled dry sand on the walls. Don't, said Jamaica, you'll mess it up. Jamaica turned her back. She piled the wet sand high. She made a castle with towers. She dug a ditch around the wall. Jamaica turned to see if Berto was there, still there. He stood watching, then he tried to step over the ditch and his foot smashed the wall. Stay away from my castle, Jamaica said. Berto, the woman pushing the stroller said, leave this girl alone. Big kids don't like to be bothered by little kids. That's what my brother always says, Jamaica said. She started to repair the castle. Then she thought, but I don't like my brother to say that. It hurts my feelings.
to make us mother the wall. See, Berto, like that. You can help me make a bigger castle if you're very careful. Jamaica and Berto made a giant castle. They put water from the drinking fountain in the moat. Wow, Aussie said when the game was over and the other boys went home. Need some help? If you want to, Jamaica said. Jamaica, Berto, and Aussie worked together on the castle. Jamaica didn't even mind if Aussie tagged along. Sometimes when we do things by ourselves, it can be harder, right? I think it's important to understand that other people can help as well and the value of other people helping and how that is important in building friendship and relationships with others. I really hope that um, you enjoyed this story. Thanks for listening.